AC stopped working this past week. Come in here, you see all this is disgusting. Um, yeah, this is not LA here. It looks fine. It actually looks really good. Twist off. No, that that hurts. This is what I enjoy. Why does my hair look so stupid? I'm gonna turn my air off. It looks like I don't have a shirt on, but I do have a shirt on, I promise. But hello. Good morning, afternoon, or night, whenever you are watching this. I am finally back filming. Gonna be showing you guys a relaxed, somewhat relaxed, Sunday of mine. I just completely cleaned my entire apartment and looked absolutely disgusting because our AC stopped working this past week. And they just came Friday to fix it. So like the floors were horrendous. They had to like pull up our nice flooring, which I don't know if I showed you guys that, but we had like this nice tiled flooring from Ikea that we had down. So they pulled that up because they didn't want to ruin it. I have something to tell you actually that I have not told you yet that John and I are trying to get a house. So that's why I was like, I really don't care if the tiles get ripped up because I'm probably not going to use them again just in general I needed to clean like my daily chores normally is doing the bathrooms and the kitchen and like vacuuming and stuff now I am showered dressed and I have to go clean my car because it looks absolutely disgusting as well can I remember the last time I did that and then I also have to go to Target because we just need like a couple random stuff and then I'm also cooking dinner today so, but I'm going to be on my way to cleaning my car so I'm going to show you guys what my car is currently looking like in terms of it being disgusting so like it's not the worst in the world like I'm really not that nasty of a person but like you can see I just have to like vacuum this and then I'm obviously gonna clean my mats and then like there's like random receipts down here that I need to like throw away come in here you see all this is disgusting like all of this like all the crumbs like I'm not I don't have a bunch of stuff in my car like it's literally just all crumbs there's nothing back here those are the cleaning supplies I brought there's like nothing this is all just sand literally from yesterday from us going to the beach can you even see that yeah it's all dusty and whatever like that's all that's all I'm cleaning so you know we'll just go through the car wash and then you'll just watch me clean this out and then I have to run to Target and then we'll continue on with my Sunday from there <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have just kept the brightness out, but my favorite car spray, a car scent that I like to use, I use a room spray from Bath and Body Works and it is vanilla birch. It is like my favorite smell. It's like manly, but it's like not too, I love how it's not focused. It's manly, but it also has the vanilla in it to calm it down. Wow, this looks so overexposed. Okay, my favorite is vanilla birch because it looks manly. Now it looks like it's freaking out. Don't know what my camera's fucking doing. And the vanilla helps calm it down because I don't like mahogany teak wood that's too manly for me But this is like just the right hint of like oh, I'm a bougie bitch But I also like manly smells. It's still a car smell new car smell something along those fucking lines. I don't know real quick So then me and then in the back and then Back here Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown. I already know I'm gonna be super fucking awkward trying to film in Target because obviously I'm not some seasoned YouTuber who knows how to film in public and doesn't feel awkward and will just push through it. Um, yeah, this is not LA here. So since I'm not able to get past that, I'm just gonna show like a little montage of me like grabbing stuff and throwing it in the cart. And yeah, that's all you're gonna get. So sorry. <laughs> That I don't want you here 
So I just texted John and asked him and said, can you help me bring the water up? I'm on my way home. So I texted him early at Target because it's this whole thing where John normally doesn't see my text because he's gaming. And most times I'll like try to call him or like text him right before I pull in. But I did it earlier because I was like, you know what? He never sees it. So let me do it earlier. So now we can bet right now and you can say or whatever you want to say, but you can say, oh, John probably saw, but I bet you money he did not see the text yet, and he's so gaming. Damn, he saw the fucking text. <laughs> and here comes John, so now we're going to put the stuff inside the house. Okay, so I know a lot of people, like I said, don't like to eat fast food leftover, but in case you're cringing at the fact that I am, you see, it looks fine. I think it looks fine. It actually looks really good. It probably looks like I just bought it. Like, to be honest, if I didn't tell you, you more than likely wouldn't know. So I'm going to heat it up, and I'll eat it, and I'll see how it tastes. Even though I'm really not that big of a fan of Panda Express, but like I said, John had buy one, get one free. So that's the only reason why I, like, even got anything. Because I'm more of, like, a... I'm not going to eat some, like, fast food of Chinese food when I can just go to the Chinese restaurant myself. You know what I'm saying? Also, I went to my Uncle Michael's birthday party yesterday. And, like, look, they have this cute little bag which I just want to keep it, but I really don't know what I would use it for. And you put your root beer in there, and I love root beer. I know a lot of people really don't like root beer. I don't know what it is about root beer that people just don't like, but I love root beer. So seeing that they had a whole bunch of these just lined up for you to put in this like cute little bag, oh my God, I need to do that for my birthday. Not me not realizing it's not a screw top, obviously, and I have to use a whole bottle opener to get it off. That's the only thing that hurts about like the old school ones that you have to like physically take it off yourself. Twist off? No, that that hurts. That's a lie if I said it was a twist off. I'll just drink this in one sitting. Excuse me one second. I love her beer so much. The only beer I will ever drink. I did it for like two minutes. Oh, this feels, this feels hot. Ooh, that feels hot. I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious. Oh, come on. Come on, Don't, you can't tell me that that doesn't look good. You're gonna want some Panda Express right now. If you like Panda Express, you're gonna want it. Back on my bag you go. So I got orange chicken with fried rice and chow mein. Those were the two things that I got. Oh, this is piping. I have like random shit, okay. Oh, that little red at the bottom, so sorry. I'm just gonna have to be ratchet today. Yeah, it probably needs to be heated up more. I have to mix it up probably. That's chill. Like I said, I don't normally order from Panda, so I can't judge it off of like other pandas before. We're gonna heat this up again, and then I'm gonna be sitting on the couch because I'm trying to watch Fear Street too. I'm really excited to watch that while I eat my food. This is my self care Sunday, okay? When I tell you. This is the ultimate, gotta show my logo. This is the ultimate self-care Sunday. This is what I've been enjoying recently. With all my like issues with work or whatever, this is what I enjoy, getting my fast food, my soda, and my movie on a Sunday, or really any day. That's just what puts me at peace. And when I tell you this spirit street right here, oh my God, why is there we go. Honestly, I have been loving scary movies like that's been my thing i didn't realize how much i love scary movies until honestly until last year when the set and i were watching a bunch of scary movies and then just so recently i was like you know what instead of me waiting to watch them with someone i'll just watch them myself like before i did not used to be the type of person who watch movies by myself and now i do and i absolutely love it so i'm just saying if you're like me before and you're just like oh i need like a group of people to watch with me i don't want to watch by myself trust me Watching a whole hour movie is no different now than me watching like a 50 minute episode of like reality TV series or literally any episode. But I'm going to get on with my self care and then we will pick back up on whatever else it is that I'll be doing. I thought that was John that I'll be doing the rest of the day, which will more than likely just be me cooking. And I might do some face masks. I might do some of those tonight because I didn't want to do that earlier today but I needed to get all my stuff out of the way which is another thing that I like about self-care Sundays I like feeling productive and I cleaned everything and I'm gonna be cooking later like I like when my list is like checked off and I'm just I'm just done I'm just done so this work has been in the way the entire time so sorry about that so yeah gonna watch my movie gonna eat my food and then I'll see you guys in a little bit remember the good mood when I was in earlier it's gone now because my oven won't turn on 
and the stove top works but I'm trying to make this pork loin filet and it says to put it on a roasting rack and to put it in the oven and I've literally been trying to heat up my oven for the past like hour and a half it says 350 right now it says bake the whole thing and it's just been sitting here and I can legit do this and I'm alive so don't know what I'm gonna do actually I do know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to sit here and bitch to maintenance again we had this good long period where I did not have to talk to maintenance for the longest time I hate hate having to have maintenance come up here all the time but it seems like I'm always calling maintenance for something and it's getting annoying so I will update you guys on if this stove oven my oven gets fixed this week but this is where I'm at no food for the week so you can't be replaced